Hi friends and welcome to my channel Mariposa Homeschool. In today's video we are going to go through, do a flip through and a kind of just show you a new curriculum I purchased. It is America the Beautiful by Knotgrass. If you are interested in looking through this with me, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, guys, so if you are, if you remember, way back in the beginning, um, kind of towards the beginning of my channel, I did a fifth grade curriculum picks. I told you guys I had not purchased any history curriculum, but I intended to towards the middle of the school year. It is the middle of the school year. I did some research, um, actually what we were, what I was going to use was the Good and the Beautiful's um, History Year One. We started it last year and my son just did not enjoy it. He said it was kind of, he just thought it was a little lame, like he just didn't like it. <clears throat> so I promised him that I would look for something new this year did some research and I came um, across Knotgrass. I saw some good reviews and I was a little turned off by the price point. It is a little pricey. Uh, Christianbook.com is a bundle. Is, um, the bundle is $110 for like five or 10 pieces. I'm sorry, not 10 pieces, like five or six pieces. Um, so I waited a little bit to see if this what I really wanted, kept researching a little bit more, and I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to get it. So I just waited, and I ended up ordering it. So um, in just a minute, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the pieces that I purchased, and kind of do a little flip through. Um, I'm probably not the first person to do a flip through. I'm probably like the hundred thing. So this candle I'm burning is a Better Homes and Gardens candle. It's a snickerdoodle swirl. That's the scent. Okay. So, um, the pieces that I purchased from the Not Grass America the Beautiful is the set that I purchased. I purchased the textbook part one there is two parts to the textbook i only purchased part one for now because it is like a two-year part i only purchased part one um let me see i'm looking at my slip from christianbook.com and that this is forty dollars or that's how much i paid for it I also purchased the maps of America the Beautiful. This was $10. And then I also purchased the answer key and literature guide. And this was $5. The other item that I meant to purchase that I have not yet would be the student guide. Um, and I have to look that up. That's the only other item that I did not purchase that I meant to purchase. So I'm going to purchase the student guide as well. So let's just get into looking through these items. I'm going to set these aside america the beautiful this is a textbook part one now america the beautiful um is for middle school grades they have one for younger children and I don't remember what it's called. I will link it down below. 
and put it on the screen and I don't remember what it's called um but this is for middle school grades this will be for my middle school age son who is in the fifth grade the reason I chose middle school age for him is because I looked through the um student guide um for the younger years one and that was just a little too easy for him a lot of coloring a lot of drawing a lot of copy work for him and it's not very engaging for his age so i um, looked through the one that was for middle school years and that one is definitely more his age group and that's why i decided to go with this one here so let's get right into it so this one here We did start to use it already. We did lesson one in here already. And I will say the pictures are absolutely beautiful. It says that there are 30 units of five lessons each. It does give um, American history from a biblical worldview has a richness of a unit study, but it is easy to use as a textbook. You don't need a teacher's manual, which is great. You just need the one book. <clears throat> With a total of only 150 lessons of a typical 150 day school year, you can easily complete this in one year. You and your children have lots of wiggle room. 30 we learn about things happening in the 21st century it says here okay so this is what you're able to purchase hopefully you can see this okay um this is the curriculum package if you want it to get everything this is the textbook that we have well these two are the textbooks this is the map Oh, the timeline is also something that I wanted to purchase. I don't remember seeing that on christianbook.com. I don't know what this is. I have to look at that and see what that is. There's the answer key, which I have. There's a literature guide. Here's the student workbook, which I do want to purchase. They do have a lesson review, which you're able to purchase. I looked through it and basically it's kind of like a quiz. They have it set up in a quiz um, format. And I rather go through lesson reviews with my child in more of like a oral format um so i decided not to purchase that but that is on the christianbook.com website as well i can link everything in the description below for you um, to make that decision for yourself there is also a literature pack it doesn't come in a pack you would have to purchase all the books separately but there's a bunch of different literature um, books for you to purchase separately with this um history and you basically read through all of these different books the literature guide helps you go through all of those different books and there's questions and things that kind of um, you would go through when you read the books i love doing that i think it's a great way to introduce my son to different books that he probably would not read on his own um, it is a struggle trying to get him to read things that are not um, anime or like Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I'll be honest. He's into like um, mystery, but um, it is a struggle trying to get him to read anything other than, you know, um, things he's into or goosebumps. So I do like doing things like this with his um, where I can fit other reading in is always nice. 
We also have here our two textbooks. There's some family activities in here and recipes, which I think is pretty cool. There's notes from the author. She also gives you a list of supplies needed. And the pictures in here are beautiful. We started lesson one and I was pretty impressed. so the next thing we're going to look through are the maps of america the beautiful um i thought this was a great way to incorporate geography into our history um we haven't done much geography in our homeschool i haven't found a great way to incorporate it we do a little bit of it with our language arts as well but i thought this would be a great way to also add some more in um, as we're going through our history lessons again let me see this was very inexpensive it was ten dollars on christianbook.com so i when i um purchased it separately so i didn't purchase like the big pack if you purchase the big pack i think it was 110 dollars for i believe it was five or six pieces i did not do that i purchased individual items so this was ten dollars and it tells you here that um they recommend colored pencils regular crayons are too thick they recommend using praying or like crayola or something like that um they also one thing i found interesting was <clears throat> There are several different maps in here. And for example, you may use map number three in all these different lessons. Oh. So a lesson or map number three may be used in lesson three, but it also may be used in lesson 20. Lesson 94, Lesson 133, Lesson 148. So I found that pretty interesting. You can come back to a lot of these maps and reference them in a lot of different lessons, which I thought was great. It's kind of like spiral, um, a spiral approach. You can see this okay. Let's see. Your child will be coloring in the, see, the first page here. It does tell you there's only certain crayons or um, colored pencils that they'll use red, orange, yellow.
a great way to incorporate geography into um, your homeschool. And it was a very inexpensive um, way as well. <clears throat> I'll have this book linked in the description. And the last book we will be talking about that I purchased today for um, history is The Answer Key and The Literature Guide. Um, I will be purchasing another thing as well. So this is The Answer Key and The Literature Guide. Um, on Christian Book, this was $5.00. And the way that you're supposed to use this is as the literature guide, it gives you all of the different books that your child will read as they go through the history lessons. There's books that they will read. So for example, this one is called Bound for Oregon. As the parent, you will read through this and it'll tell you here, <clears throat> like chapter one page two there's reference um to indians and the whitman massacre which left 14 people dead so it's just you know letting you know um that is in the the book um you're supposed to read through this before your child reads the book um so it's giving you i guess a heads up on what the book is about before your child reads it in case you want to maybe go on teachers pay teachers you can maybe um get some um um what do you call those like a lesson guide or something like that off of teachers pay teachers maybe pull vocabulary from there something like that or maybe you just have your child do um oral narration from from this um just something like that so it's giving you kind of a heads up on what it's about and then so for each book that um it suggests that your child read throughout the history lessons it does that and then so all of that then it also gives you the answer key for your child's workbook and all the lessons are in here for that as well. So if you need to look back through the answer key, all the answers are in here too. So it doubles as the literature guide and the answer key. So I thought for $5, that was great. Um, I honestly don't know anything about all the books that it suggested here so I thought it was great just for that reason um, to have a bit of a heads up about what these books are about um, this is for middle school grades and um, American history can be a bit brutal so um, you know it it is nice to have um, some of these um, literature guides um, and know what these books are about before your child reads them. So for now, let's see, I've got these three pieces. I've got textbook number one, I've got the maps, and I have answer key and literature guide. Um, I already placed my order for the student workbook. I did not forget to meet, I for, for, I didn't forget, I'm sorry, can't talk. I didn't mean to for, forget to leave that out. I meant to purchase that with us as well. That was an accident. Um, so I already placed my order for that. And everything that I purchased for the Not Grass History is in the description below. And I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I have heard such great things about Nagras history. And I hope that this is um, 
a blessing to our home school and my child likes this a lot better than the previous history that we used um, I was had high hopes for the good and the beautiful history he just didn't like it and I just didn't want to force it on him if, if it's not something he enjoyed so um, hopefully this is it and I, um, if you guys have any questions or want a more in-depth flip through on these, please leave it in the comments down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have some ideas on the content that you would like to see, please feel free to leave that in the contents as well. If you are, I appreciate you so much. We will see you in the next video really soon. Bye!